Quick note before we proceed, if you are new in this channel and you are interested in content related to GIS, related to water supply or irrigation, please like this video, subscribe, turn on notification so as to be the first person to be notified when as soon as I release a new video content. So this is extended period, as, uh, extended period simulation. As you can see here, we have a very simple network, water supply network, two, two water storage tanks, and this dead end or nodes. Okay, so we want to see how water fluctuates as demand fluctuates within a day. How pressure even fluctuates within a day? We want to know, yes this is a system supposed to supply let's say 10 liters per second but there is a time when the demand is even bigger than 10 liters per second so how our system is going to behave this is where extended period simulation come into place so let's start let's start it just click here okay look at water storage tanks tank 2 still not on tank 1 supplies water okay tank 2 still Look at Q here, 18, and it keeps on declining. Tank 2, empty, and tank 1, supplies water. Okay. Look at pressure, how pressure varies. Okay, look at how pressure varies. Okay, this is morning uh, 4 a.m., 6 a.m., everyone is up. C, Q is 18. And it keeps on declining as time goes, as water demand uh, varies throughout the day, and even Q, Q itself keep on changing. So here is pressure. Look at pressure, how pressure changes. So this is extended period simulation. It is very helpful, especially when you are dealing with complicated uh, water supply networks, or as water supply network which is located in areas where uh, you have a lot of people. Okay, you have a, especially in towns and even if it is a small uh, water supply project, please use extended period simulation. It will give you a very detailed picture on how your project is going to behave in the real world. So that is it. 